the advent of precision conservation, that the last 20 years of precision application technologies are now being considered precision conservation technologies, and that we're no longer farming by the acre, we're farming by the inch, and as we farm by the inch, we're finding that we're not only more productive, but we're doing better by the environment. And so that seed, that treatment, what it does for the seed is it protects, it creates that protective bloom or balloon around the seed, and it's very precise, it's right there around it. And depending on what's on the seed, the plant can take that up as it grows to provide uh, further protection. It is precise, it's exact. It's not a broadcast application, it's right there around the seed and very tight. We started uh, a little over a year ago, uh, probably two years ago now with Crop Life and, and our member companies to look at how seed treatment is used on seed, how it's uh, from the beginning when the seed is produced all the way through the application and then distribution to the farmer and planting. And how can we ensure that any of those critical control points along that path are properly uh, handled, managed, and uh, taken care of by everyone that has a role in that place. And so we thought, let's pull a guide together. Let's give all of those um, people involved in the process guidance on how best to manage the process as they go forward to properly steward that product. Mm -hmm. The exciting thing is uh, um, all the work that's being done on life cycle analysis, putting the science of efficiency behind what we're doing. It's saying that the North American model of agricultural production is very efficient, that uh, use of crop protection products not only is very efficient, but it works well with the environment and it helps us feed people. And that's, a, that's the exciting thing about where we are today and where we're going over the next 50 years.